retro, uh, go, go. Everybody, retro, uh, go, go. Why am I singing retro, a uh, go, go? I got a retro, a uh, go, go package. How do you beat the after Christmas blues that I always have? You save yourself an after Christmas present. I did have Stephanie open this because I was worried about the packaging and like it might get damaged inside. So she's seen it, I haven't. But I was pleasantly surprised. It's super nice, heavy cardboard. And then right here, you can kind of see that pink sticker warns you about cutting into the box because you don't want to slice open what's in here. Very important. I would have been careful anyway, but I appreciate that. Retro Go Go, for those of you that don't know, is this company that specializes normally in horror monsters. And what they do is they have like these old school masks, right? They do them in the art. They do them in uh, the actual mask with the rubber band with the little staple. And if you remember, you used to try to put your tongue through that little mouth hole and you'd get cut. Great. But they also have giant 3D art of this, which is basically a recreation of the mask, but it's flat on the back. What is really cool is they have the General Mills Monster Cereals. Retro Go Go, if you happen to have a few extras lying around, you could certainly send me some. I would love it. I should mention they also have like puzzles and, and posters and stuff like that. But this year they came out with a lot of cool blankets. Really big plush blankets. <clears throat> I missed out on the Santa one. So hopefully they're going to redo it next year and I'll get that. But check that out. But this year, this year, what did... Oh gosh, I'm so excited. Oh, I see the edge of the box. See the edge of the box. Ooh. This year, you're not going to believe what they came out with. Ooh, it hurts. Oh. oh, I guess I should show you guys. Check this out. Santa Claus holidays retro style decor. And look at this box. Oh, they got me. They got me on the box. Oh, now they also got me on another thing. I'm gonna have to buy another one of these because I'm not gonna wanna take it out of the box, right? They did come out with some in bags also later to save on some of the costs that you, if you didn't wanna buy the box. Check that out. What do you say we get the big guy out? Oh, <laughs> I just love this kind of old school design, man. I just love it. Ooh. <laughs> oh, ho, ho, ho. retro go, go. Look at that. Oh man, it's sweet. And these are flat back, like I said, hole right here to hang it on. And this one, oh, what's this? Oh, some complimentary candies. Ghoulsville sticker, very nice touch. This one came out with some little hangers that hang under the Santa mask, which you better be good, of course I am, right Santa? The next one, I'm not gonna use, hope you like coal, B-I-T-C-H, but, Hey, that's for the bad kids. Oh, I love this thing. Thanks Retro Gogo -Go for doing the Santa mask because people that uh, specialize in like horror stuff, gotta be careful how I say that, they'll always be Krampus. And they had some Krampus stuff too, but they, you know, kind of skimp on this. And that's what I love about the monster masks is they do the Frankenstein and all that stuff, but they also do the, the fun, more kind of retro kids General Mills, it's cool. So thanks so much, great packing, like I said. Retro, I'll go, go, everybody. Retro, I'll go, go. Oh, I couldn't get out of the frame.